there's no secret something is happening with V2. There have been rumors on vertical velocity for years. Some people said it would get removed, others thought it would get relocated, but Six Flags is doing something different with it. Find out in this video what Six Flags is doing with V2. Late in 2021, V2 was shut down. There was a sign in front reading that it would be closed for the rest of the season. Most people speculated Six Flags was closing it for something bigger, perhaps for a new coaster. A lot of rumors began saying another RMC would replace the ride. But what happened was completely different. The ride was repainted with red supports. This hinted at something bigger. Six Flags repainted the ride to preserve it. V2 never really has a long wait. Usually it tends to be a station wait. However, I believe this is Six Flags way of increasing its line. People are going to see V2 as a new ride when it opens. But how does painting a ride make it new? Well, I think Six Flags has something up their sleeves. And I think they should have done it a while ago. The roller coasters around it are themed to DC. Near the front of the park is Superman, a B&M flyer. This is themed to one of the DC Comics most popular characters. And it's one of the park's more popular rides too. And a few steps away is Joker, an SNS 40 free spin that provides surprising intensity. I consider it one of the more underrated rides in the park. And right next to Joker is Batman, the ride that started it all. This B&M inverted roller coaster is a favorite of mine. It's a guilty pleasure of mine that I think people overlook. And right next door to these roller coasters is V2. It just doesn't fit in. So this repaint will probably be cause of a retheme. I would guess that the park would retheme the ride to the Flash. It fits the color scheme, and DC is making a Flash movie this year, so the timing would be perfect. Some people suggest the park removes the ride. They say because the holding brake is gone, and it never receives lines. Plus, Six Flags just added a launch coaster across the park that defeats the purpose of V2. I think Great America's solution will fix all these problems. It will definitely bring in more lines. Especially if they get the holding brake to work. However, it's unlikely, as many say it was a maintenance nightmare. So, what do I think? I agree with what Great America is doing. It's going to be perfect timing with the Flash movie. I think this is one of the better things the park did for its roller coaster collection. They already have a well balanced roller coaster collection, but they are in need of improvements. Six Flags taking these small steps to improve their rides demonstrates a lot. Maybe we will see Eagle get a retrack or refurbishment so that it could duel again. Or perhaps this was a filler for a bigger ride in the future. Do you guys like what Six Flags is doing with V2? Or do you want to see it gone? Tell me in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for a ranking on Six Flags Great America's roller coasters. Here's a montage of the roller coaster collection.